Hey Cougars, I'm your fantastic host, Bryony, and welcome to In The Game, where we recap all the sporting events, news, and conference action with the University of Houston in the American Athletic Conference. In this episode, we will be covering football, women swimming and diving, volleyball, and ending with esports. Let's begin with football. The Cougs played conference opponent Temple in Philadelphia on Saturday. In the first quarter, the Cougs drove 80 yards with De'Ara King scoring a 13-yard rush for the first touchdown to put the Cougs up 7-0. In the second quarter, Candon Novikov kicked two field goals to put the Cougs up 13-0 by the half. In the third quarter, Houston QB Kyle Postma passed a nine-yard touchdown reception to Linnell Bonner to put the Cougs up 20-0. In the latter half of the third, things started looking shaky as the offense struggled to move the ball past the 50-yard line. Temple proceeded to capitalize on struggling offense by kicking a field goal and scoring a touchdown to cut the deficit to 20-13. The fourth quarter came and went as the Cougar defense had to put up a fight against the Flying Owls, all without Ed Oliver, who suffered a knee injury in the first half. Temple kicked in another field goal with 8.47 remaining in the game to make it 20-13. In the final play of the game, Temple had a possession on their own 34-yard line. The game ended with the Hail Mary that was intercepted by Captain Garrett Davis to seal the Cougar victory 20-13. So notes about the game is that QB Kyle Postma in his second ever career start in Houston went 25 for 36 with 226 yards, one touchdown with one interception. Wide receiver Linnell Bonner recorded six receptions with 43 yards and one touchdown. On the defensive side, Garrett Davis recorded two interceptions and Isaiah Johnson recorded one interception against Temple QB Logan Marishi. Overall, the Kooks put up a good fight against the Owls and walked away with the W, 20-13, to improve 1-0 in the conference play along with 3-1 overall. The Cougars will face against in-state and in-conference opponent SMU Mustangs this Saturday, October 7th at TDC Stadium at 6 p.m. Hope to see you all there. Be loud, be proud, and go Cougs! Next, let's dive into women's swimming and diving. The 2016-2017 returning AAC champions open up their 2017 season in the North Texas Relays in Louisville, Texas on Friday. Some highlights include the Cougars taking first place honors in the 1 meter and 3 meter springboard, the 4x200 freestyle relay, the 4x100 melody relay, and the 3x100 breast relay. It's always great to see the 2017 AAC champs return to dominate schools, and I hope that you're excited to see the amazing talent and skills for the upcoming season. Now, let's move on to volleyball. The Cougars face UConn at the UH Athletics Alumni Center Friday night. The Cougars swept the Huskies 25-22 in all three sets. The Cougars hit for 206 compared to the Huskies 158. The Cougars improved to 5-6 overall and 1-2 in conference play. On Sunday, the Cougars opened up their game against Temple by dropping the first two sets going into the half. After the half, the Cougars rallied in sets 3 and 4 to tie the Owls. In the heart-aching fifth set, the Owls were defeated after Temple went on a run 5-0 after being down 13-10. The women's volleyball team recorded a 5-7 overall and 1-3 in conference play. The team will close off their homestead against other American Athletic Conference teams by facing Memphis on October 6 at 7 p.m. and Wichita State on October 8 at 12 p.m. At this time, we would like to congratulate the UH Esports League of Legends team for placing first in the AVGL Collegiate League of Legends Championship. They'll be traveling to DreamHack Denver to compete against Columbia College in the finals on October 22nd. Look forward to that. There are a great deal of sports that are still going on as we speak. To stay up to date with the latest scores, recaps, and highlights with the University of Houston Athletics, please check out uhcougars.com. For more sports updates as well as more weekly episodes, don't forget to follow Coug TV on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Please leave a comment on who you think was the outstanding athlete or athletes for the week. Thank you so much for watching In The Game. Once again, I'm your fantastic host, Brian Yee, and go Cougs!